What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here. We're going to be talking about Global Force Wrestling, but I first want to let you know that I'm recording with my lav mic because I'm out and about. But this was a, uh, a fun way to do a commentary, and I wanted to kind of talk about Global Force Wrestling when I had a chance to do it. So here we go. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about the roster. We're going to talk about some upcoming events, and then we're going to talk about some uh, announcements that they made regarding Global Force Wrestling. So right off the bat, I want to announce the roster. Uh, first off, they had a little video that went up that kind of... Uh, well, before the video, let's talk about the press conference. Yeah, let's go back a little bit. We'll we'll start at the beginning. They did this press conference. It was weird because they didn't live stream it on the internet. If you want to make a cutting edge promotion, why would you not live stream a, a roster reveal? I figured they would have done it on YouTube, Twitch, Ustream, anywhere on the internet. Just somewhere that you could watch it, but they didn't do that. So, here we go. They announced some of the names for the roster, and it was kind of a small little names, and you're just like, okay, I guess. Um, and then they went up and released the video. The video had uh, screen cabs of a few people, and then they finally, we can gather all of them together, and let's talk about the names that were announced for this Global Force Wrestling. So right off the bat, we know that PJ Black, formerly Justin Gabriel, is involved. We know that Doc Gallows, or Luke Gallows, or Festus, as you may know him, and Carl Anderson are uh, involved. The Killer Elite Squad, which is Davey Boy Smith Jr. and Lance Archer, are involved. Um, we know Sanjay Dutt's involved. Chuck Taylor, Jigsaw, Moose, uh, Thea Trinidad, Lady Tapa, Brodus Clay, Cliff Compton. The Young Bucks are even involved. Moose is involved. Luke Hox is involved. Cassidy Riley, Chase Stevens. And if there's names that I'm forgetting about, on this list let me know but i'm trying to get them all as possible uh there's a tag team of desirable dustin and gigolo justin i actually had to look them up but they are actually from uh row which is booker t's reality of wrestling so that's pretty sweet to see them uh there's this guy whose name is jamin Ovencia, i believe i'm not sure what I've never seen him. I don't know who he is. He was from OVW, I believe, and now he's at Global Force Wrestling. So that's cool. I don't know who he is, and maybe we'll see a new up-and-comer, which is fun because I want to see people like that. And uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anybody on this list that I have here. Um, Sonata was another name that was uh, mentioned that I don't know if I, I said. But... Jigsaw and Jimmy Rave, don't know if I mentioned them. So that's a few other names that I have off the top of my head. So let me see if I can go down one more time and just name them off. Cassidy Riley, Chase Stevens, Chris Masters, Chuck Taylor, Cliff Compton, Davey Boy Smith Jr., Desirable Dustin, Gigolo Justin, Doc or Luke Gallos. Um, we have Moose. We have Jigsaw, Jimmy Rave, Carl Anderson, Lance Hoyt, Vance Archer, Luke Hawks. The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, PJ Black, Sonata, Sanjay Dutt, Lady Tapa, Thea Trinidad. So there's what we have thus far. And also announced, we do know that Chael Sonnen is the expert analyst. Whatever that means. I have no idea what that means, but he's an expert analyst. And I guess we have Jeff Jarrett involved and Hermie Sadler's involved as well. I'm not really sure what Hermie Sadler's got to do going on here, but okay, that's what I know thus far. So, um, yeah, and I, I don't know if I said Brodus Clay again, but that's a name. So, there's that for the roster. Woo, yeah. So, also with that video, they wanted to announce that there is four titles going to be decided at this event. And I'm not sure what these four titles are going to be. Uh, nobody really knows what these four titles are. Uh, basically, what I'm expecting out of this is we're going to get a world championship of some sort or, you know, heavyweight championship. Either world or heavyweight. Either way, there's going to be one major title going to be uh, with that. And then there's going to be... Uh, uh, like an intercontinental U.S. television title of sorts, I believe, uh, unless they want to get crazy. And if they get crazy, they could maybe go with like a uh, X Division type title or something crazy that they want to do. Um, so I'm not sure about that. And then we know that there's probably going to be a uh, tag titles. 
and maybe a uh, ladies women's divas championship i know like i said there's only two female wrestlers announced right now but they could just decide this championship between them and then go from somewhere else i don't know it's uh it's hard to call if they're actually going to do a ladies title if they're going to do a uh, x division a television title i don't know but they just said the four championships will be uh, announced so that's what we have so far as far as that championship going on and then um we want to know that there are some upcoming events coming uh, they have this baseball thing in the summer which i don't really know i'm not a huge fan of the baseball thing but they, it's called the gfw grand slam tour which they will tour around uh, different minor league baseball stadiums and putting on events or something i don't know how it all works but it's something cool i guess maybe i don't know something different so minor league uh, baseball so that's gonna be fun and for one of them in texas uh there will be an appearance hacksaw jim duggan okay i don't know sure why not go for it makes sense i don't know he's a legend so hopefully it's not going to be like the early days of tna where they had all these legends and a few wrestlers and then yeah i don't know i guess it's cool We'll see what happens with that, with the hacksaw thing. If they get more people to come in and just kind of put the brand over, I'm fine with. But if they put the main focus on those guys, I don't know. Not not a huge fan of that, but we'll see where it goes. So one last thing I do want to talk about is the, the international partners that we have. Uh, the international partners are AAA, uh, Emerald Wrestling Promotion, Explosive Pro Wrestling, Impact Pro Wrestling, New Generation Wrestling, Premier British Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Alliance Australia, Revolution Pro Wrestling, Riot City Wrestling, Westside Extreme Wrestling, World Wrestling Professionals, Wrestle Clash, and of course New Japan Pro Wrestling because they put on that Wrestle Kingdom 9. Uh, they aired that. I don't know what kind of partnership they have. They obviously have a good one since they have some of the New Japan stars like the Young Bucks and that. And the last thing we do know that their taping is July 24th from Las Vegas. We have no idea where this is going to air, what network, any of that. But that is all that I really know right now as far as GFW goes. Now it's time for my thoughts. My thoughts are as follows. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and I'll probably say the same thing. Um, I'm very skeptical about this just because... There's a lot of companies out there um, that say they are going to be the next WWE and they're going to put on the next thing. This was more towards like the end of WCW. There's always companies like coming up saying that they're going to be the next big thing. But now uh, we have Jeff Jarrett trying to stab at another company. And this is the thing I want to say. It's like um, he, he, okay, he did TNA, right? He did his TNA thing and... You can say for better or for worse, TNA is not where... Uh, I'm not going to say it's a failure. I'm not going to say it's at the place that it should be, though. And that's the thing. Jeff Jarrett came in, he made this company, and then he got out when he didn't like the way things were going. And now he's trying to start another company. The, the analogy that I've heard here... Um, let's just say this. Let's say that... You make hamburgers, right? Jeff Jarrett, he, he, he makes hamburgers. So Jeff Jarrett's making hamburgers. And he says, um, you know what? I want to make the best hamburger joint that I can make. And he like makes his hamburger joint. And then, uh, you know, he doesn't really like the way things are going. He ends up selling the company to someone else. And then that's it. And Jeff Jarrett's gone. Uh, and then he's like, you know what? I want to make another hamburger joint. But this time... I want to make it with nothing else that I did before. You know, I, I want to I want to take a different approach. Do you really want to buy the same hamburger from the same guy who had a company that he sold that wasn't really successful? Not saying TNA is not successful, but it's just that sort of analogy that I'm trying to come up with. It's like Jeff Jarrett tried it with TNA, and then it went to a direction he didn't want. What's to make us say that that's going to not happen again, you know? Jeff Jarrett's going to have this company. He's got all these promotions. He's putting on this show. Is there really going to be a success or a failure? I'd hope to say that it's going to be successful, but I don't know. I'm very skeptical about the thing. And here's another thing I want to say. 
there's not really any big main event names on this promotion. You think that they are probably going to announce some more names. I'm hoping. I don't know if they actually are going to announce more names. I'm assuming they are because the roster is not, I guess, for an independent wrestling promotion. This roster is good. I mean, you have, let's see, on my list, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you're already 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 wrestlers on the list right now. So 24 wrestlers on that list. I guess it's good for an independent promotion, but there's no big names. You think if they partnered with New Japan, that one of the big names they want to get would be AJ Styles. I don't know if they're going to be able to get AJ Styles. I'm assuming that AJ and Jeff have a good relationship. If they were good enough to get the Young Bucks, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows, along with the Killer Elite Squad, I'm assuming that they're going to have enough pull to get a guy like AJ Styles. And I'm going to think that if they are going to get AJ Styles, they're going to wait to announce it at a big event, some big press conference. I don't know, but I'm hoping they get some big names because... I think the biggest name that they have here is probably like the Young Bucks and Sonata, Sanjay Dutt. I mean, those are names in the wrestling business, but Chris Masters. I mean, there's those names, but I don't know that those are going to be like main event names unless they're going for a different poll on that. I'm thinking they need a guy like AJ Styles to come in. Uh, even a name like a Chris Hero would have been good to grab. A Colt Cabana would have been great for them to have. Um, I mean, there's a lot of independent wrestlers that they could have got. Like Cage could have been one. But, you know, he's in. Uh, <laughs> he's over there doing that Lucha Underground stuff. So I don't know how the Lucha Underground works as far as their contracts and all that. But, you know what? I'm just saying that it's kind of a tough call on if this is going to be successful or not. I mean, you do have Brodus Clay, yeah. Cliff Compton, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's something that's I'm looking forward to. I'm excited for. And I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. I'm not a huge fan of the baseball thing. I'm not a huge fan of Hermie Sadler. I don't know. Maybe he's putting some money down on this. I like the production they have on their YouTube stuff, so whoever's doing that, good job with that. Um, but again, I'm saying that they have a lot of independent wrestlers. This is a good roster for an independent promotion, but if they want to be more than an independent promotion, they're going to have to get a lot more guys. At least a big name like an AJ Styles would put them right on the top. But he's doing stuff with Ring of Honor. And I don't know how the ring, New Japan, all that's going to work out. So, um, yeah, it's probably, but then again, the young, see, it's just, it's unclear to me how this is working out because the young bucks and like the Carl Anderson working for New Japan and Luke Gallows and the son, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for Global Force Wrestling now that you know what some of the roster is and now that you know there's going to be four championships and now that you know they're touring in the summer for baseball and now that you know that they have a show or a taping or whatever coming up on July 24th. So let me know, guys, what your thoughts are on Global Force Wrestling in the comment section below. Hopefully this audio was good with my, uh, my microphone here. But anyway, guys, that is it. Tony Beats Guy. Frag out.